Hi, my name is Tony Dickinson. I'm the Careers Advisor and my responsibilities include TAFE delivered VET courses and school-based traineeships and apprenticeships. School-based apprenticeships and traineeships allow the senior school students to commence their apprenticeships or traineeships while at school. School-based trainees complete their traineeships by the end of their HSC year. SBATs work part-time both on-the-job and off-the-job training undertaken and an SBAT contributes to the HSC. Students who take on school-based traineeships or apprenticeships are motivated people who don't just want to plan their future career, they want to experience it now. It's very important that students plan how to manage their SBAT by considering can they handle school, work and training with family and community commitments. Have a support network around them along the way. Teachers, careers advisors, transition advisors, parents and carers, all there to help them. And are they able to make arrangements to get to and from the place of employment? School-based apprenticeships and traineeships allow a senior high school student to commence an apprenticeship or traineeship while at school. School-based apprentices can undertake the first stage of their apprenticeship training before the end of the HSC year. School-based trainees complete their traineeship by the end of their HSC year. SBATs work part-time on and off the job training. The school-based apprenticeship traineeship fit with my HSC. The formal training undertaking, undertaken by a school-based trainee or apprentice generally contributes to a minimum of four units towards the HSC. Additional HSC credit may be applicable for both school-based apprentices and trainee courses depending on the qualifications. Careers advisors are sometimes informed of traineeship and apprenticeship opportunities. However, the best way to improve your chances of landing an SBAT is for students to undertake strategically targeted work experience. Employers want to know that the students are genuinely committed reliable and able to deliver. Work experience is how students demonstrate employability skills. Now I'd like to give you a brief overview of what a TVET uh, program is and how it might fit into the HSC pattern of study for your student. TVET is a practical VET subject delivered by a registered training organisation, an RTO, in our region, so that usually means a TAFE college. TVET is a stage six, that means a year 11 and 12 course, and it contributes to the HSC. Some of the stage six courses also include an examination, and that enables your TVET course to contribute to your ATAR. Discuss ATAR contributing courses with your school's careers advisor, and if an ATAR is important to you, TVET gives your student the opportunity to get a head start on your career and comp complete a TAFE delivered vocational education and training course while you're still at school. The courses have the same New South Wales Education Standards Authority requirements as other HSC courses, meaning, meaning you will need to regularly attend classes, complete assessments, most courses take between two years to complete and some classes may be extended outside school hours. Work placement is a mandatory requirement for VET courses. It gives you the chance to learn new skills and apply skills you've already learned as part of your course in a real industry setting. Should your student wish to undertake a TVET course, you can call or visit me in the careers office Expressions of interest are open now, but applications must be in by at least September the 3rd, so you can be sure that, uh, to start the conversation soon. Thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing from you soon.